So get yourself oriented to where we are with respect to this topographical map. Right okay. Before we knew about Waldorf education, we, we met some Waldorf graduates, and there was something really unique about them. And we tried to describe it. We were saying, well, they're confident. They're sure of themselves. They look you in the eye when you talk to them. There was something about them mm -hmm. that we just thought, we got to find out more about this kind of education. The Austin Walder School is a K through 12 independent school. It sits on 19 acres right at the edge of the hill country in central Texas. The curriculum at each grade level is designed to give a unique and well-rounded learning experience that meets each stage of a student's development. The intention of Waldorf education is to encourage the development of human beings who can stand on their own two feet. They can move through life with a certain confidence, poise, sense of purpose, or at least the hint that they can seek for those things. Well, class teachers, those of us who work in the elementary school, we start in first grade. And we make a commitment that we will remain with that class. I think it's one of the essentials of Waldorf education, namely establishing this, this relationship with the student, and of course the student's parents. But it is out of this relationship that the child can learn the, the, the intrinsic joys of learning. There's nothing extrinsically demanding in the sense of you're working for a grade or you're working for competition. You're working because your teacher loves the work and you love the work. One, two, three, There's a continuity, there's a consistency, there's a, a connection to all the subjects, a perspective that that teacher can hopefully offer as she watches the child move from early childhood in first grade to being on the verge of adolescence in, in eighth grade. I really truly feel that they see their classmates as a kind of brother or a kind of sister. So when they leave the home and they leave their parent or they leave their brother or sister, they're going to a classroom with not only friends, but friends they've known for six, seven, eight years. Our approach really in general starts from the realm of the artistic. We are not a school for artists, we're not an art school, but we try to bring every lesson in an artistic manner. Jack and I are both artists. He's a photographer, I'm a graphic designer. So for us, a school that could help foster artistic expression, if you will, in our children was just invaluable. It was our top priority. Yeah. You know, because we still feel after eight years uh, of being here at the school that the, the, the head knowledge, the academics are just a part of the equation. You know, when you're talking about education generally, you're talking about the, the whole person, the spirit, the soul, the, mm -hmm. the feeling, the emotional, the artistic sense as you go through life. Waldorf has it.
the importance of a young child to move out in nature, to be in the elements, to play with water and sand and dirt and mud, and to really live in these primary experiences, to be able to be on a swing and, and, and other things that give them a sense of movement, because movement is so important, in, in particularly in these early years. If it's a math lesson, if the next part is mental math, they're moving, they're using bean bags, they're coming up to the board. They're not just sitting for two hours. There has to be not just inner movement, but there has to be outer movement. We know that more and more, and more and more of that's integrated into the lessons. She's right there, and there's another one up here. Oh, okay, got it. Yep, see? I think that's yeah, the bees won't hurt you. I know. Lessons learned in the garden go well beyond you know, agriculture. To see the children get to eat their harvest and talk about the disgusting bugs that they picked off of the plants and to understand the, the concept of keeping the weeds under control and not waiting until it's out of control. So it's this concept of constant tending and staying on top of a job. Give you a little hint here, so we don't spend so much time factoring the denominator. By the time a student gets to high school, they have already experienced an introduction to a very wide range of scientific curriculum. Inspiring interest, inspiring the students to want to go further in their learning scientifically, mm -hmm. um, is a big focus in Waldorf education, having their interest ignited from what they've seen and, and witnessed and experienced themselves. These are the two engines which uh, control these two wheels up here. And this is the brain of the robot. This is what you program and plug into the computer. We have to make uh, a variable program where the robot can go through any maze. other instances of that in last night's reading, right, where it's ambivalent whether Lily is becoming somewhat paranoid or August is really trying to create a space for her to confess. What's happening to our protagonist here? Lily definitely has a guilty conscience because everything that... Our students are equipped to frame questions, answer questions, Whatever. and they're not afraid to communicate with their instructors. Yes. I think Waldorf prepares students for college because they come from our school feeling like they can do anything. And they feel that they could study science or history or art, and they frequently want to mix up their curricula when they go to college. I've learned some of the softwares like AutoCAD, and I've gotten to use that to do some of the designing work. And then uh, I've got to visit some job sites, go see some works in progress. I chose this work experience because that's the field I'm going into is architecture, so I wanted to get some real-world experience with an actual firm, see what was you know, going on behind the scenes. With Waldorf, you get a lot of things in three dimensions. You get blacksmithing, uh, sculpture, handwork, and I mean, so much focus on developing an individual who can think creatively definitely helps a lot. 
It looks somewhat stiff to have him in the middle. I of was the very, very impressed by the level of the content of the, the physics curriculum. The writing and the verbal skills are at a very high level. I think there are lots of SAT scores out there that can <laughs> provide evidence of that. Waldorf education as a whole, and the emphasis on the arts in particular, develops the whole human being. That means that when the student graduates, they have this ethical sense of what it means to contribute to humanity. A big gift for our son from the Waldorf School was as a preschooler and kindergartner, he was an observer and he stood on the periphery of his class and wasn't very involved. And um, he, I've watched his development over the years and the teachers being able to know where his strengths and where his weaknesses are. And now he's, he's a leader within his class and he is in the middle of everything that he does. If it's playing basketball, if it's having a role in the play, you know, or academics, whatever it is, he's, um, found his strength and he's found his voice. I think in another school setting, he might have been maybe left behind or not received the attention that he needed. What has Waldorf given our kids in terms of education? Roots and wings. You know, the roots is the stability, the, the confidence in themselves, the, the security to be who they are. And the wings is like we have liberated them to think and become the person they want to be or do whatever they want to do. I, can, I cannot wait for both of our girls to get to college because I think we'll see roots and wings in action. after all these years working with kids in a Waldorf school is they have been allowed to really grow as individuals. They've developed their will so that they can meet challenges that lie ahead. They are very clear that they are citizens of the world and that the world is theirs for them to enter into and to serve and to enjoy. It's always that someone mentions, I'm really ready. I know that I can go out and I can find what it is that I'm supposed to be doing. From a teacher's point of view, that's a wonderful thing to hear.